Hey everyone, so I want to do a uh, video on how I uh, quit the rat race back in um, the late 90s and started on a journey towards uh, being independent and uh, entrepreneur financially um, independent. Not, when I say financial independence, I don't mean I'm, you know, filthy rich <laughs> by any stretch, but I've... Uh, I've made enough money to uh, basically keep my bills paid and, uh, you know, put food on the table and all that stuff. So um, I thought this might help some people give you guys some ideas on, you know, what you can do if you're if you're sick of the uh, nine to five rat race in an unfulfilling job. So anyway, it was back in the late 90s. I was working a gravy train job for a big publishing company and was making good money and had been there for I think four years and uh, one day I, I realized that you know this really isn't what I want to do for the rest of my life and as a matter of fact I just knew that uh, it was time to start really thinking about some other um, options and opportunities so um, the company offered me a pretty good promotion and I turned it down because I knew that uh, it was going to take me from hourly to salary and there were going to be a lot more hours involved in the job, a lot more stress. And that was the last thing I wanted at that point. I mean, at that point, I was really, like I said, I was really trying to figure out uh, what else I could do. Um, so when I turned down the position, they basically blackballed me because they weren't happy about that because they really needed someone in that position. Um, so the politics started and I knew at that point it was time for me to go. So I, I basically just quit, quit the job. Uh, they did give me some severance because they knew the politics was why I ended up leaving at that, you know, at that point, I might've stuck it out for a little while longer, but that was kind of the straw that broke the camel's back. So they gave me some decent severance and uh, I had some money saved up. So that, you know, gave me a nice cushion. Um, and by the way, I even before this, I, you know, I, I've. When I started working um, in the corporate realm, um, I was at that point pretty frugal and I really always lived below my means. Uh, I never really wanted, you know, a lot of material things. Um, I didn't drive a new car or anything like that. I knew better um, than to go in debt. And so, you know, I always paid cash for everything. Um, and so I had been saving my money for a little while and I still, you know, lived a pretty comfortable lifestyle. Um, so that on top of the severance gave me a nice cushion. And so I ended up moving in with my parents, believe it or not. I think I was 30, 30 years old or 31 or something. And that was just for, I don't know, a few months. And, uh, a friend of mine called me up and said he was opening up a health food store. Was I interested in, um, uh, working for him? Well, I was really passionate about natural health and because I had cured myself from a pretty serious illness uh, a few years before, you know, I quit the, the corporate thing. Um, so I had really nothing else going on at that time, so I did. Um, but I was basically working part-time, which was great because I didn't really want to do the full-time thing at that point. I was still trying to, you know, get my bearings straight and figure out, you know, what I wanted to do long-term. Um, it he ended up selling that store a couple of years later and uh, I basically took over the whole management of the store and um, the new the new owner ran it into the ground um, so uh, it went out of business and my buddy called me up and I had left the store at that point my buddy called me up and said hey are you interested in buying this this health food store and I said no <laughs> Because, you know, at that point, they'd, they'd close the doors and uh, customers were, you know, dropping like flies and everything. And um, so after talking with some friends about it, I decided to go ahead and do it. And, 
you know, I got it for, I think I bought the store for like $4,000 or something. It was really cheap. Um, so I opened it up, opened it back up and got most of the customers back. And uh, I did that for, I think, three years. And um, at the end of three years, uh, I knew it was time to move on because I'd had enough of um, working six days a week, no holidays, you know, no vacations, nothing like that. And uh, I wanted some freedom. Um, so it was uh, three months, I think, before my uh, lease was up, which was a three-year lease. And I decided either I was going to sell it or close it. Um, and out of the blue, some guy contacted me that I had talked to uh, a couple of years prior about the business and he, uh, he was interested in buying it. So um, literally a month and a half before my lease was up, uh, he came in, signed a contract, gave me a deposit, and uh, you know I sold it on contract, so he he uh, paid me monthly on it, and um, I was done. So, uh, and again, I had been saving my money, um, you know, through those years of running the business and owning the business, and then I had cash, you know, coming in from him. So. Um, <clears throat> That actually uh, gave me enough money to build my own small house, which I am living in currently, and uh, out in the boondocks, uh, I bought almost two acres of land, and I built this small uh, passive solar, super energy efficient house, and uh, I did that cash, I didn't get a mortgage, and um, so the real benefit there, obviously, is I have no rent payment every month. I have no mortgage. All I have to do is pay my utilities, uh, put food on the table, gas in my car, and uh, my bills are paid. So that has been probably the key strategy um, for many years because I always kept my expenses low and I didn't go on fancy vacations. I, I have traveled some, um, but even when I travel, I don't stay in five-star hotels and I camp and, um, you know, I'm, I'm very smart with um, my money. And so um, I really think that that's one of the key strategies is to live below your means and to, um, to save everything you can until you get to the point where you could do something like that, where you could um, buy a place and, uh, and not have that, that mortgage over your head. Because that's gonna make it a lot easier for you to keep your bills paid every month. So, um, you know, typically rent is over 50% of your monthly expenses. So right there, you've cut your expenses in half at least. So. Um, the, the other thing that I really focused on was, um, learning certain, um, skills. And so obviously building this house, I had to learn carpentry and, um, basically just how to manage, you know, a big project like that. So, um, the other areas that I studied in depth were, of course, nutrition and natural health. Um, I studied that for, I've been studying that for you know, the last almost 20 years now. And um, also philosophy and, and um, uh, personal growth uh, has been a big um, interest of mine. So I've spent lots of time uh, studying that and so, you know, since I built the house and um, sold the store, uh, again, I had to figure out how to make some money. And so um, the great thing is I'm living out here in the sticks where 
jobs are extremely uh, scarce and the ones that are available pay typically minimum wage and um, you know unless you're laboring and that's not what I want to spend my time doing so I've done enough of that just working on my property and building my house so um, so I started looking at opportunities online to make money and I found out very quickly that there were just an un, almost an unlimited number of opportunities um, and so I started researching different opportunities and I went to a uh, specifically a site called Warrior Forum and I learned about a lot of different opportunities and so oh the other thing I forgot to mention um, you know on my path to uh, freedom I also did invest in um, precious metals and uh, I mean, I was buying gold and silver back when gold was like 250 or $300 an ounce. And then it shot up to 1200, 1300. Um, and I did very well with that, of course. So I held on until it was well over $1,000. I think it was around 1200 when I really started selling. Um, so anyway, that's the other thing that uh, I think is really important is understanding and really researching, trying to figure out what are the best opportunities for investments. Um, and I was looking for safe and um, not only, I, well, of course, you know, any smart investor is looking for the safest investment with the biggest upside. And I really felt like metals had that. So, um, but anyway, back to uh, the um, internet um, opportunities. So I was amazed at how many different opportunities they, there were. And um, part of the problem was that I got overwhelmed because there was just way too much information. And I had a hard time narrowing down exactly, you know, what I wanted to do. Um, I ended up uh, my first real internet business was um, selling marketing services to local businesses, so brick and mortar businesses. And um, it, there was definitely a learning curve. It took me a while um, to kind of figure everything out. Um, but then I ended up, you know, making a, a pretty good living there for, um, oh, I don't know, about a year and a half, I think. And then I found another opportunity and that was selling physical products on uh, Amazon. And so I basically uh, had a product custom made uh, for me and it's actually a pain relieving cream. So it's back into the natural health um, industry. And so I launched that product on Amazon and within a few months I was making uh, I think four thousand dollars was uh, what I was grossing, and um, so um, that more than paid my bills. And um, and now, of course, since then, uh, Amazon has gotten very competitive, and so it's not nearly as good of an opportunity as it used to be. It used to be kind of um, wide open, and it was really easy to throw something up there and, and make a good living doing it. So now it's a lot more difficult. And um, so now I'm actually looking at other uh, business opportunities online. And again, there are still just almost unlimited ways to make money uh, with the internet. And I really think that that's where it is because uh, it, it gives you the freedom to basically go anywhere um, and run your business. I, all I need is a laptop and an internet connection and I can do business online. So um, that is just extremely attractive to me because I don't really want to be tied down and I want the ability to be spontaneous and, and you know, travel if I want to 
um, and or move so which is definitely on my uh, that's that's on my agenda and uh, so anyway um, I really just wanted to share that story with you um, just to kind of give you an idea of you know how how you could do something like that and um, um, I guess that's pretty much it you know if you if you have any questions I don't know I may have missed some things but uh, that's pretty much my story and I think it's it's very doable for a lot of people um, really I think it's doable for most people in the US anyway um, even if you are tied down and you have a mortgage and um, you have a family and all those things um, and I would say mainly um, that's because the reason that's pos very possible is because of the uh, business opportunities online and of course it might mean you know really sacrificing and putting in a lot of hours um, on top of what you're already you know if you're working a regular job that might mean putting in quite a few more hours on top of that so and it might take you it might take you a year or even two years to get to that point I was fortunate because I didn't have a job and I was able to put all my time into building my business and so um, and again I haven't uh, just to stress, I haven't made a lot of money as far as um, what's considered, you know, a lot. I mean, um, the key is really that I reduce my expenses so that I didn't need to make a lot to pay my bills. And, and to be completely honest, once I have my bills paid and I have uh, some spending money so that I can do the things I really enjoy doing, um, then I don't you know my focus goes off of business and it goes into other things like writing music and uh, I have a lot of other interests philosophy and like I said personal growth and um, yoga and meditation spiritual practices so I've spent a lot of time on those things in the last you know since I um, became free and uh, not that much time on business I mean once I got a business established then I wouldn't even with my health food store I put very little time into actually running that store I was there six days a week but I spent most of that time writing music and learning things and um, studying and and things like that so um, I've never really put very much time into business because I have a lot of other interests and uh, making money is not that important to me as long as I have my bills paid and you know uh, have some spending money then I'm pretty happy so um, anyway so that's pretty much my story if um, if you found it helpful would appreciate a thumbs up if you have any questions uh, if you're interested in doing the same you know just Leave me a, a, a comment in the um, uh, below the video, and uh, I will be happy to share what I can. So, thanks for watching. Good luck.